everybody or good afternoon it's jr here um if i'm coughing and hacking through this thing i've got some bronchitis so i'm going to do my best to get through here but i may have to mute it every now and then so you guys don't have to hear me coughing so welcome to everybody uh we have got a really full house today we have some guests in today which is very cool um and if you don't mind uh find that chat area down there uh put in that chat area where you're from let me get to it now i think it's under questions okay hey there we got okay waiting for name is the person <laughs> i'm not quite sure what that hey got alex okay and we got kyle hey kyle how you doing linda's there spent some time with linda the other day she's awesome she's doing really good dan Engelhart is there hey Yibbing is there from, where are you guys from? Put, oh, there it is, Manchester. Manchester, England, cool, New York. Uh, Sarasota, who else we got there? Linda's in Sarasota, Kyle's in Tennessee. Um, yeah, all over the place, that's very cool, guys. Um, today's gonna be a little different because, you know, we talk about um, how to do things, but what I did today is I actually put together my personal ads and I'm going to show you exactly how I did it, um, the results I got, and how I found winners. And you can do the same exact thing. When you're done today, you're going to be able to go to your ad account and actually make money because some people don't quite get that ad thing. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, in addition to this, some people were saying they have a hard time finding a product. I'm going to show you how to use Facebook and you're going to spy on other people's posts and you're going to find the ones that are profitable. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. And you can do the same exact thing. So that's pretty cool stuff. If you like that, put some comments there. I think uh, uh, Mark's from Missouri. I see Mark there now, too. So let me just start here. And I'm going to get my screen up right here. And I'm already sniffling. Sorry about that, guys. Move this. All right. There we go. All right, so we're gonna start talking about these Facebook ads thing. And you know, Facebook ads is so frustrating if you don't know what you're doing, it just drives you nuts. Or you know, maybe you guys are smarter than me, but I got so confused in the beginning. And you know what, to this day, I still get confused sometimes, but I have figured out a few things that work. So let's go through those real quick. Okay. So what works and what doesn't work? Here's the key with Facebook. To be successful in running ads, you have to have some failure ads. And I know you don't want to hear that. Oh, my screen keeps popping back. But you've got to have these failure ads. They're so important that you fail. Because if you don't fail, you won't know which ones work. And, and that sounds crazy right now. But I'm going to show you in just a second exactly what I mean by that. And you're going to go, oh, okay, I see. That makes sense. Um, yeah, Mark, yeah, they're, they are frustrating, aren't they? God, no. And you know, the funny thing about Facebook is as soon as you figure it out, they go and move stuff around. You know, it drives me batty because it's like, it takes me long enough to find something. And I'm always going over to Jessica going, where's this? Where's that? What's, what's it doing here? But these ads I'm going to show you, you're going to be blown away with. You're really going to like it. Um, so let's get into exactly what I did on them. Okay. So what to expect? Well, you're going to need to do these steps first before you run the ads. You're going to need to check Google Trends for traffic. Oh, please do that. Okay, don't don't just go, oh, it's doing good today because it may be on a downturn. You know, we want to make sure the trend's going up or at least, you know, staying flat. 
um, you want to use a lot of audiences. There's two ways to do Facebook ads. You can have a lot of ads and one audience, which I don't recommend, or just a couple ads and a lot of audiences. And, and the example I'm going to show you today is that way. That's how I did it. So I only use two ads and I use a very low budget. Every ad I started was $5. So if you're thinking, oh my God, I just can't invest the money in this. Yeah, it's $5. I start with $5 too. You know, that's it. Um, so you want to run these daily and you want to run them for maybe three days, but you got to check them every single day. And here's what I mean, because I, you know, some there's some confusion on when you stop it if it's not doing well. If you're not getting any clicks in a day or two, I mean, no clicks. I'm not talking about sales. I'm talking about like no clicks. You want to kill that because it's just there's something wrong with that, right? If you're not even getting people to click on it. Now, if you're not getting a sale, you know, within three or four days, then you're probably going to want to kill it too. You need to get at least one or two sales. And it doesn't actually have to be profitable in the beginning. And I'll explain that to you in a second. But it does have to be something that, you know, is getting some kind of action there. Um, gosh, I didn't introduce Jessica. Jessica, would you like to say hi to everybody? She's helping me today. I do. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all doing well and um, re-energized after the new year. All righty. Um, okay, so after I've done this for three days, Alex, are you there? I know Alex was going to be here. Yes, Sam. Oh, there he is. Okay, there's Alex. Cool. Um, say hello from Serbia, Alex. Yeah, hey, everyone. How's it going? And, you know, we have some guests in here today that are not DCA members. And what I'm going to do for you guys is I, I have a webinar. And if you're already a member, you've probably seen the webinar. But I'm going to post that in the um, chat area. And, you know, if you've got some value out of this, I want you to go to that link. And you can actually watch a long webinar on exactly how to start, run, and grow a uh, drop shipping business. So, uh, I'll, matter of fact, let me put that in there real quick now. And you guys let me know if you can see it in there. Let's see. I want to send it to all. And it's not going in there. Maybe, Jessica, could you stick that in the uh, area there for me? Yeah, yeah. I'm going yeah to do she's going to do that for me. So, let me get my screen back up here. Okay. So, once we've done this checking, we want to increase the ones that are working. Now, I'm not just giving you an outline here. I'm going to show you exactly what I did on some ads, and you're going to see how well they worked, okay? So, let's get to the next screen. All right. So, let's, let's, I'm going to actually go to that example now. Now, what I did, because my voice is breaking so bad right now because of bronchitis, I actually recorded this. So, you know, it may sound a little bit different, but I just did it last night. So, it's, you know, pretty fresh. So, let's go into the next one. Okay, guys, I'm at my ad account now, and I want to show you how this works and how you set up all these different ads and how you figure out what doesn't work and how you get rid of them. So this particular campaign here, this is one campaign I have selected here. Within the campaign, you have different ad sets. Now, within each ad set, you could have different ads, but each ad set is for a particular audience. So if you notice, you know, we're targeting some political things here. So we've got Trump, NRA. Uh, plus Donald Trump. Now, this is a picture I put here. This is actual video. So we wanted to see the difference between these two. Now, this ad has only been running for a little over two weeks. Whoops, guys. We had a little technical difficulty. Give me one second. I was clicking and I shouldn't be. All right. There we go. Okay, guys. I'm at my ad. You set up all these different ads and how you figure out what doesn't work and how you get rid of them. So this particular campaign here, this is one campaign I have selected here. Within the campaign, you have different ad sets. Now, within each ad set, you could have different ads, but each ad set is for a particular audience. So if you notice, you know, we're targeting some political things here. So we've got Trump, NRA, uh, plus Donald Trump. Now, this is a picture I put here. This is actual video. So we wanted to see the difference between these two. Now, this ad has only been running for a little over two weeks. Um, started December 15th. So I want to show you some current so I can show you this works if you apply it. So what I did is I ran, gosh, how many? We had 19 ad sets in here, okay, which is, you know, decent. I tell you to run about 20, but we, we ran 19. Now, within each ad set, I may have a couple ads. So let's see here. This one has two, so that would be 20, 21, 22, 23, 
uh, yeah, it looks like about 23 different ads are in here. Okay. So that's a lot of different ads, but that's the only way I can figure out what works. And I've been doing this for years. So what I do is I start off with a $5 budget. Okay. You can see right here is $5, which is fine. And as I get results or don't get results, I'll kill ads. So if you notice, none of these are active here and they aren't active because I spent, you know, here's what I spent. Kind of scroll all the way down. I spent $13 on this one and I didn't get any action. You know, I wasn't getting anything. I spent $19 on this one. I wouldn't get any action. I spent $19 on this one. Wouldn't get any action. Now, I don't do these individually. I do them all together as a group. And then I'll take away and then add more of them. But if you look at all these down here, all these ads didn't work. See? Oh, I spent $19 on each one here. They didn't work. Didn't work. Okay, this one worked a little bit. They got one sale. And per purchase, it cost me $23.93. Now, this particular ad is selling a product that sells for about 50 to 60 bucks, and we make about 35 to 40 dollars on it. So technically, this one here got a sale, but I just figured if it only got one sale out of spending $23, I didn't want to mess with it because I had some better ones. Okay, so let's look at some better ones. And this one here is just started. I only spent 10 bucks on that one. I spent ten dollars daily on that one. And I, I focus on different things like here's Her, Herman Kane and Rush Limbaugh. This one here is a coin collector because they, they both would match to this. <clears throat> so let's look at the ones at the top, though. Now, these are the ones that were doing well. So I increased the budget on them. Now, this one here has got 12 sales and per purchase, it's eleven forty five. Now, I'm making thirty five to forty dollars on a purchase. So that's a pretty good return. I'm tripling my money. Um, this one here, if you notice, I bought this one to $100 a day. Why? Because it's getting results. I got 15 sales on it, and it's only costing me $8 per purchase. So at $8 per purchase, I'm almost quadrupling my money, okay, at $35 to $40 profit per sale. Um, if you come down here, this one's still at $5 because I'm getting sales, but not enough. I, I, may, I may up this one here some. Uh, this one here, I up to $10 because I was below this threat, uh, 11 here, so... I got four sales on that one, and I've only spent 43 bucks, which isn't bad. This one here, I've spent $29. I've got three sales on that one. Um, and, and here's the funny thing, guys. All of these ads had either a video or a picture, okay? And it was the same video or picture. The only difference was the audience I ran it to. So, you know, we can look up here and see which audiences work well. Now, this one here is a video that is SCF buyer lookalike. What is that? I created a list of people who have purchased from us in the past, and they're called lookalikes, okay? Then I uploaded them to Facebook, and when I did that, they created a lookalike audience for me of about 1.2 million people that I could sell to, which is pretty cool, okay? And as you sell more products, you'll be able to do this more and more and more. Uh, in the beginning, you can't, but then again, look at these other ones. I don't, I'm not using lookalikes on these, and I'm getting sales. So it's costing me, if you look here, now this, this $15.90 per purchase, includes all these down here that didn't do good at all okay so this is really higher if you just looked at these up here and we totaled that up okay so if we look over here i've spent 651 dollars and i've got 41 sales averaging about 50 dollars a sale so you know I, i've spent 650 to get two thousand dollars not not bad not a bad return and now what i can do is scale this right because i know it's working on these particular audiences but this cost per purchase is really high because it includes all these ones here that I spent money on that I got no return on. So let's take those out for a second and see what it really cost me per purchase. Okay, so the ones that actually got me sales, I spent $419.83. So $419.83. And I averaged, let's say, uh, 41 sales times uh, 50. So I took in $2,050, and this is, this is a small ad, but they all start off small like this, right? And if I subtract my um, ad spin, I come up with $1,630.20, and I have to take out my product cost, but my product cost is like yeah 20% of that, something like that, so not much. So I've literally tripled my money that I spent because these ones down here that I spent money on that are no longer, you know, running, well, that's gone. Okay. I figured out which ones don't work. I killed them and I moved on. 
So that's all there is to it, really. You just you just need to grab a bunch of different audiences and start throwing five dollars at them. So you know you don't have to be a genius to do this. You just got to spend five bucks a day. Like this, I've increased this to fifty. Why? Well, because I'm nine seventy five for purchase, right? That's pretty good. So I'm throwing fifty bucks a day at it. Um, and then once you figure out what audiences work, I start pumping these up. These will go up to you know fifteen hundred thousand, two thousand dollars a day because I'm getting a return on my investment. That's all it is. And it doesn't matter if your return's ten percent or five percent. My mind's you know crazy on this one. I'm making tons of money, but it doesn't matter what your return is. Additionally. You know, you've got to look at the fact that all these people that bought, these are now customers of mine. And I know that once somebody spends money with me over the next six months, they'll spend three hundred and twenty dollars. Right. Of which one hundred and forty is profit. So even if this was break even and I made no profit, which I am, that's pretty cool because I got all these people on my list. Right. That I can mail to. In addition to that, this isn't the only product we sell them. Right. Because once they buy this particular product. They go to a next page and it offers them an upsell. So I make money on the upsells too. So <clears throat> this is not brain surgery. It's just, it's hard work. It's tedious. You got to check it every day. So I run it for like three or four days at five bucks, you know, just like I showed you. And, uh, you know, it's all these five buck ones. They never went up, right? Because I wasn't making any money. So I got rid of them. So that shows you really how easy this ad thing is, but you know, you can't run one or two ads. Like, cause if I had just run these ads, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, but my ads were bad, right? 12 of my ads were bad. Now keep in mind, I started off with about eight or nine. I got one or two that worked and then I added one or two more and then I got some that worked and I added some more Then I took some out. And it's just analyzing this data to see what you're doing. But, you know, if I'm tripling my money here, how much would I spend a month? How much would you spend a month if I told you that for every dollar you gave me, I'd give you three? You, you, you just keep giving me money, right? Okay. So now let's look at actually finding products that you can sell. Guys, does that make sense to you? That little video I did? Does that make a little bit more sense? I see Linda put a comment. Let me see what that is real quick. We get in here. If an ad is working, don't touch it. <laughs> she, that's true. She says, make copies. Does that mean we don't increase the budget on the original ad? No. No, you can increase the budget. You know, you know I was just in Bangkok with Alex, and it's so funny. There were guys up on stage that were talking to us, and it was a Facebook ads master class. Okay, people paid a thousand bucks to go in there and listen to these guys. And there were five of them, and they all had ad spends of anywhere from probably one to ten million dollars a month. Okay, so this is serious money. And not two of them would agree on how to do an ad. <coughs> I know that's crazy, but they just, you know, it was funny because one would stand up and look at the other one and go, Well, I know what he just said, but this is how I do it. So you kind of got to figure out what works for you and your niche. You know, the the things that you want to stick with are only five dollars a day. Okay, you can't lose thousands of dollars. If you're only starting with five dollars a day, you can't. OK, you're only doing, you know, five or six ads at five dollars a day or eight or nine ads at five dollars a day. And, you know, if you do 20 ads at five bucks a day and you don't get any results, then you got a bad offer. You know, you got to relook at your offer. Then it's not always the audience. Now, we kind of know what's going to sell and I'm going to show you what's going to sell in just a second. You're going to you're going to have the insight to knowing what works on Facebook because I'm going to show you how to cheat in just a second. Um, but before I show you how to cheat. I want to, uh, you know, tell you some of the rules and the rules are five bucks a day, a couple ads, you know, multiple audiences. So let's go into the next step. All righty. So we're going to learn to find the best products on Facebook posts. Sounds crazy, right? Does anybody know you could even do that, that you can actually find products to sell by looking at posts? If you put it in the chat box there, uh, somebody's saying they've never heard of that. That's crazy. Uh, it is crazy. It is crazy. But I'm going to show you in just a second, and you're going to be blown away. You're going you're gonna to leave today and go, holy crap, I could have been doing this all along. Okay? And you say, well, why isn't it in the course? You can't put everything in there. I'm trying to put as all I can. That's why we have these coaching calls. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to actually go to Facebook, <clears throat> and we're going to search in Facebook. Okay? We're going to find a keyword and it can be dog. It could be, you know, necklace. It could be, you know, whatever you want, whatever the word is, survival. I'm going to show you what I did in a second. And then we're going to add 
goo.gl to that. Now, what is that? That's the Google URL shortener. Now, what most people do when they run ads on Facebook is they will use that Google URL shortener because they don't want that long extended you know, URL of wherever their product is. So what I'm going to be doing, think about this, is I'm going to have a keyword and I'm going to be searching with somebody who's put a URL shortener in there. And if you don't know how to do this, because some of you may not, um, take whatever landing page you have and go to Google URL shortener. You can type it in there and it will shorten it up. And we're going to show you some examples of it. Um, then you may want to use the words in stock. If you're looking for free offers, you may want to use the word free. You're only going to search post. OK, you don't want to search anything but post, because what most people do is they'll do a post and then make an ad out of it. OK, and then we're going to click all posts because we want to see them all. Sometimes it'll default to just yours or your friends or something like that. And then the next thing you want to do is pick the year, because if you do, if you just search the post, it's going to search every single post forever. And you don't want to do that because what was popular maybe three years ago may not be popular this year. So in the example, I'm going to use 2017. And then we're going to cheat more. We're going to go to our landing page and we're going to analyze everything about them. So you guys ready for that? If you're ready, say you're ready and we will go. And um, this is this is oh, my God, this is so cool. You're going to love this. All right, let's get going. OK, guys, I'm back at Facebook now, just regular old Facebook. And I want to show you how you can spy on other people's posts. And that's the best way to run an ad, by the way, is put a post in and then use that post as your ad. Um, and people do that because it makes it look more organic. So I'm going to spy on other people's posts and I'm going to find an awesome product. And I'm going to show you how you can do the same thing. OK, so let's go ahead. I'm going to put survival because that's our niche. And I'm going to put uh, glove, I guess. And I'm going to put in stock because I know a lot of people tend to put in stock in their ads. And this is a really cool one here. I'm going to put G-O-O -O dot G-L. Now, what is that? That is the Google URL shortener, which almost everybody who runs a bad uses. So I'm going to be able to pull up all those. I'm going to hit enter. <coughs> Now, once I've done that, I want to look over here and make sure this is checked for everyone, excuse me, anyone, uh, any group, because sometimes it'll default to just your groups or just you and you won't get any results anywhere. But the one thing I do want to change is I want something current. So I'm going to pick within the past year because 2018, not too many days have gone by. So once I do that, I have to click see all. And let's see what kind of post I can find that had a lot of engagements. Okay, guys, so I just typed in here survival and glove and goo.gl. Now, why did I do that? Because this is the Google URL shortener, and almost everybody who runs ads uses that. And I want to I search post. And the reason I want to search post is because most people will make a post and then turn that into an ad. That's what we do, too. So I would suggest you do that. Hey, guys, I should have edited that a little better, huh? Okay, so I put in survival glove and Google. I want to make sure this is for 2000. 17 because I want something current, okay? And uh, sometimes you'll have more choices over here. Make sure it's everywhere and everyone, not just your post. Let's just scroll through and see what we find. Okay, this is interesting. This one here has 2.7 thousand comments. Okay, that's popular. 4.3, excuse me, 4.8 thousand shares. So let's look at this post. Wow, cool picture, right? Grabs your attention. But we're going to do some analyzing here. I'm going to figure out how much this guy made. How about that? Here's how we're going to do that. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab this URL here because I want to see if it's worthwhile. In other words, if a lot of people didn't click on this, you know, even though it's got all these shares and likes and all that because he could have bought some of this stuff. Um, I want to make sure that a lot of people are going there. So I'm going to go to it. Just put, put your search bar here and type that. Google shortener in there and then put dot info. This is going to tell me how many people went to that shortened URL. Oh my gosh, 136,993. That is insane. Now you got to figure about one or two percent are going to probably buy your product. And that would be what about a little over 26,000 people. That's a lot of people, okay? So, yeah, it's it's popular, okay? So let's go back to the post again. And I want to actually go to the landing page of the product so I can see what they're doing here. 
Okay, so here's the product. They say it's free, normally $39.99. Okay, and they've got really weak description here, guys. <laughs> but they did a good ad. That's a terrible description, though. And it looks like they didn't change any of the stuff that came from China. And I'm assuming this came from China. Let's search it. Okay. I've searched tactical gloves here. And this looks like the one right here. So it's $4.78 and free shipping. Okay. So we know they've got, you know, uh, well, let's find out what they're selling it for. We've got to figure that out, right? So let's do that real quick. So let's go back to their page. Okay, here's their page. And um, we're going to look, put a couple in our cart. Check it out. In our shipping address, we're going to do that. And then we're going to proceed to payment method. Ah, here you go. So I put two of those in there, and they're charging me $10 and looks like 45 cents. So they're doubling their money from what they paid for the product. Now, this is not that great of a profit, but, you know, average person is probably going to grab two of these. So if they grab two of these and you got 26,000 people going there, okay, that's that's $520,000. That's not bad. So that's a half a million dollars, guys. Now, here's what's interesting. You know, when I went over here and I figured out how much traffic they had, I can also tell what period of time. So this looks like it started in March, ended in December. So they were taking in $100,000 a month. Not bad, you know, well, a little bit less than that, okay? So I don't know why they would quit this ad. Maybe it stopped performing. You can see where are they targeted. So I know everything about that. This is a pretty cool tool here, isn't it? So you know everything about it. What I also want to look at, so let's go back to the ad. And so, yeah, could you do an ad like this? Could you get a picture of gloves and put a guy behind it and then write a paragraph? I mean, that's essentially what they've done. And, you know, they're probably, they're 50% uh, profit on this product. Um, so they've got some ad spend. I don't know how much they spent on ads, you know, but uh, obviously it was profitable because they did it for six, seven months. You know, they didn't do it that long because it wasn't profitable. And if we actually look at their site itself because a lot of people say well maybe you, get, you know that site has tons of traffic and you know that's why let's check it out let's see you know how much traffic they have now you can go now you can go to this site here myip.ms and uh, i've typed in their store here look at this less than 200 visits a day now why is that because they're not really using their store they're using that Google URL shortener, and it doesn't look like they're targeting the people back again. I mean, they could make a ton of money. You got that many people going to that shortened URL if you just targeted those people, but you know, maybe they're just making too much money. They just don't care. Um, so that store doesn't have a lot of traffic. So if your store doesn't have traffic, you don't need it. Now, this guy didn't need it. Look at the kind of money he's making. It's insane. So, you know, that took me just minutes to find this product here, and I could certainly go back through and find more and more and more and more products you know, in almost any niche, and it's easy to do. So there's your trick to finding the best <laughs> products on Facebook, and you can copy this. So let's go ahead and get back into some questions. Okay, guys, what do you think of that? Is that that's pretty amazing, isn't it, that you can actually spy on other people's ads. I mean, it's just, it's just insane, okay? So what I want to do, um, good, people are saying incredible, they're excited. Yeah, I mean, if, if you know how to do some of this stuff, you know, I would say 90% of success is going to be research and planning. You know, it's not going out and going the hottest new product because I don't want to do that. I, I want to find a product that somebody else has already been successful with and I'll just sell it. You know, it's like, why try to reinvent the wheel? You know, when McDonald's does a lot of research on where to build their restaurants, I mean, they spend millions of dollars on that, you know, the, the demographics, you know, the income, you know, the traffic. And, you know, Wendy's is really smart. And I talked to them many, many years ago when I was in high school, they were around interviewing people. And they said that they build restaurants across the McDonald's. They look for places that have McDonald's. They go, well, you know, if they're buying burgers there, they're probably coming across the street. So, you know, I, my suggestion is just go across the street, you know, find something that's working like that. Um, 
somebody had a comment in here. Let's see if I can get to some of these comments. Uh, you know, so this is cool. Not sure where you were. We'll have to figure this out. It's really easy, uh, uh, Petria. All you got to do is you just go to Facebook. And in that search bar in the top of Facebook, you're going to go there. And you want to make sure that you're not in a group searching a group or something like that. And then when you search, you want to go back to Facebook and you want to click the tab that says post. That's all you got to do. Really simple. Really simple. All right. So let's get back to this here. And I want to do the step by step process so I can remind you guys. Now, of course, this will be posted in the members area. And we're going to try to start posting these um, actually in the uh, members area, these actual videos, because some of you forget to go in there and watch them or whatever. So I want to have it there for you. But all right, let's just go through some of the rules here real quick. Pick audiences. Don't pick a lot of ads. And, and another thing, this is going to save you a lot of time, because if you do 10 ads and two audiences, you know, it takes a long time to do different ads. So I, I prefer to do just a couple ads, one or two ads per audience, you know, and usually one. I mean, I, I don't want to do much more than one if I don't have to. But, you know, sometimes I'll do a video and a picture. Uh, we want to stick with maximum five dollars a day. We want to check it daily. You know, some of these guys and, and Alex will affirm this. You still there, Alex? I'm not boring you, am I? Alex, did you fall asleep? Oh, Alex. I don't know if we lost our connection with Alex, but you know, no, he went here just uh, had a little issue. I'm muting my microphone, but no, definitely did oh. not fall asleep. I actually didn't know about the Google trick and uh, that you can actually see the traffic. So that was quite interesting for me as well. Should have yeah, shared no. this with me sooner. <laughs> yeah. Pretty so cool. You guys don't share this, you know, don't get all excited and tell all your friends and family about it. You know, that's a big mistake people do. They're like, well, I'm going to go do that then. So, you know, I'm sharing this with you because you paid money and if you didn't pay money, you're a guest today. So you got a little bonus in there. You know, you get to learn some of this stuff that nobody else knows. And that's why these coaching calls are much higher level, because we're doing stuff that nobody else is doing and saving you time and money. Um, so the, the guys that we listen to in Bangkok who are spending one to ten million dollars a month, they would check their ads. I'm telling you to check your ads you know, daily. They would check it. You know, one guy says he checks his ads three or four times a night while he's asleep. And you say, why would you do that? Because he's got millions of dollars riding on it. You know, if it takes a turn in the wrong direction, he wants to kill it. Or he wants to, you know, he wants to scale it. So that's really important. Um, then your next step is you want to replace the ads you kill with new audiences. So don't just start killing them and end up with only two audiences. Go back out again, look for more audiences. Now, you guys, if you're a member of DCA, you have access to that audience analyzer. Man, that's a great tool. It, it'll find all those, it'll find thousands of audiences for you. So then what do you want to do is you want to focus on the ones that convert and scale the best ones. And when I say scale, don't go from $5 to $10,000, okay? Just go to $50, go to $20. And that works out, go to $100. That's why you saw when I built this campaign, it was a gradual thing. I didn't just go in there and just start dumping a ton of money. I wasn't going to do that, right? And then the ones that weren't performing, I just killed them at five bucks, just like you know we're telling you to do. Um, once you have sales, here's another little trick that is really cool. And I did it on this ad, but I didn't show you in the example. Look at the ages and the cost of age groups. So you can go into your ads, and I do it on my phone, and it has, I think, I had ages 35 to 64. But what your ads will, and you can download this app on your phone, what it'll do is it'll break it down even further. So I had 35 to 45, 45 to 54, and 55 to 64. And guess what? I found out that the ad, the sales that were going to people 35 to 44, were four time or four dollars higher than all the other sales. Guess what I did? I killed that age group. That's another thing you got to do. Another trick you can do is you can kill geographic locations. So let's say you're targeting all of the U.S. and you're getting sales all throughout the U.S. That's great. Go into your geographic locations and find out what the sales are costing you in different states. We do that all the time. Where let's say Florida is costing me seven dollars to sell, but Massachusetts is costing me fourteen. Well, that's insane. Why would I leave that? I would just take that same money and dump it into Florida because it's a whole lot cheaper for me to do that. So you want to keep tweaking them and tweaking them. Um, once you have sales, you look at the ages. That's what I just said. Uh, check out the ad art with the ad with the ones that are working. OK, so change out. Excuse me. I said check out. Change out that artwork. Don't say, oh, I got one that's working. As soon as you get one that's working and it's working well, go change the art and try another one right next to it with the same audience. OK, because that can make a huge difference. Um, you also want to change out the text. So let's say you get one that's working really, really well. 
do the same artwork and just change the text on there. That can make huge differences. Um, once you get those things working, start looking at your landing pages, split test landing pages. Okay. Send them to ones that you know has less text on it or less information. Um, and then of course you want to change offers. You can't stick with the same offers forever. And of course you got to test, let me get a drink of water. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. You got to test, test, test. You're never going to stop testing. Okay. That's so, so important. All right. So Q and a, now you guys can ask whatever questions you want. For those of you who are guests today, we have quite a few guests out there. Um, there's a link in the chat area. If you go down to chat and click on that little arrow down, there's an arrow across actually, then it'll turn down. There's a link there where you can actually go and listen to one of the webinars I've done. Um, and it'll give you a lot of good information. So that's there for you. Um, so let me address some of the questions now. How much ad budget do I need to be successful? <laughs> Um, you don't really need a whole lot of money. And, you know, the funny thing about um, ad budgets is we will spend that same amount of money on dinner and drinks and get nothing out of it. I mean, it's, you, you go to a movie nowadays, you're going to spend 30 bucks, 40 bucks, you know, two people. And, you know, you go out to dinner, you can spend another 100 you know, $130. Well, you know, how many ads could you do with that? You could do, let's say, five, uh, you could be do 25 ads at $5 a day. You know, why not do that? You know, where you can actually see some income from, you know, what you're putting out there instead of just spending money. Uh, let's see here. What's somebody saying here? Depends on the ad. Uh, I'm trying to weed through questions, guys. I'm not going to be able to get to all of these. How do I get more info on landing pages? Um, can you expand on that a little bit, Dan, what you want? And I'll, I'm going to be happy to get that for you. I just want to make sure I answer your question right. More info on landing pages. Now, I also use a lot of other tools, you know, and and in the beginning, you don't need all these tools because I didn't have, you know, a lot of times people look at me and go, well, you got all these different tools. I, I didn't in the beginning. Matter of fact, they didn't exist in the beginning. You guys have a decided advantage over anybody who's successful now because if they started a couple years ago, you know, it, it, there was nothing there. You know, they have like click funnels now. I like click funnels a lot. If you haven't checked that out, you want to do so. I'm not an affiliate, so I'm not trying to sell it to you or anything like that. Though I should, right? Should do that. Uh, Dan says how to set up properly. <clears throat> well, um, if you go to some of these landing page builders like ClickFunnels, Lead Pages, all these different ones, they will have templates in there for you. And I know you can sort in Lead Pages the most popular ones or the highest converting ones. So, you know, that'll help you out and get you started. But the easiest thing to do. Uh, is to find an ad out there that's working and just just copy their stuff. And I don't mean copy it word for word and all that, but you know, emulate what they're doing. That's real simple. Now, I would not emulate that landing page for those gloves. That was horrible. I mean, that was just really a bad page, but they still made money, so I don't know what to tell you. Um, where is the best place to get landing pages to make great ones? Yeah, those are the sources I said. Uh, Click funnels. Um, how to connect to add the right way. What do you mean by that, Dan? I'm getting that question there. Just expand on that a little bit. And all you're doing, you know, when you do an ad, you're going to do this Google uh, URL shortener, which is free. You know, you just put your URL to whatever your landing page is, and it's going to shorten it. And that's what you're going to put as far as a link in your ad. Uh, how does clicking on the ad get to the landing page? Did that explain it just now, Dan? Where I was saying just go to Google URL shortener, Make it a shortened URL, and then you're going to copy and paste that into your text of your ad, and that will go over to your ad. It's really that simple. So simple, simple stuff. Um, okay, I'm trying to weed through some of these questions here. Alex, do you have any input on any of that? I'll, I'll let you talk for a second since my voice is about gone. Sure, yeah. So um, I think this was great, very eye-opening. Uh, I think we should make sure that everyone in the group gets to see this because – um, I think, you know, they they get stuck a little bit with the ads and they need to see that even you, you know, you've done this for years, you create a bunch of ads, a bunch of them fail, you don't stress out over it, you just pause them, move on to the next one, and it's as simple as that. And when people are consistent with this, um, that's when they're going to start seeing results. And I think the biggest thing is just people are not really consistent or they spend too much money on one ad way too long before they kill it, and uh, that's where where they lose money. So I think this was very eye-opening and uh, 
we should probably do an email blast to everyone who got the ECA and make sure that uh, that they see this. Yeah, and guys, um, you know what he said is so so important. Don't spend a lot of money. You know these ad agencies that are out there, and I know people that run these you know Facebook ad agencies and. You know, here's what they do. First off, for most of the ad agencies, you have to spend $100,000 a month, okay? And then they're going to charge you 10% on top of that. Um, and then here's what they're going to do. They're going to create like 50 or 100 ads and just start spending your money. And you like, you're like, well, wow, they found a couple that worked. Yeah, it's because they spent, you know, all your money on 50 to 100 ads. You know, you can do the same thing. That's all an ad agency does. They don't do anything any different than you. I mean, that's it. Um, Mark put in there, <coughs> excuse me that sh uh, Shopify apps Pagely is free. So there you go. There's some landing pages. Um, what's the other one? Oh, Pagefly. Okay, I said it wrong. Pagefly. Pagefly is different. So if people type in Pagely, you're Ah, Pagefly. Okay. Glad I got on. This is for sure. Great, JR. Thank you very much. Uh, do you use the same method in both mixed and niche? Yeah, it doesn't make any difference, uh, Linda. You know, you're you're just you're worried about a product and a landing page right now. They're not even going to a store in many cases. You know, what I'll do is I'll send them to a ClickFunnels page. They're not even going to a website. They're just going to a ClickFunnels page. And then once I've got them, then I can follow up with my store and all that kind of good stuff. Please place into DCA Facebook site so we can watch again. Tremendous info. Very generous of you. Oh, no, we, we owe you, Dan. <laughs> you guys have taken your time to sit here. We want to make sure it's worthwhile. So... Unfortunately, my voice is about to give out, and uh, my wife will probably be happy about that, but um, <laughs> you guys may not be. So I'm going to try to end it. Jessica, do you have anything you want to add? <coughs> um, no, not really, other than, you know, you, you guys have Shopify, and as you saw when you were looking, when we were looking on Facebook, um, most, of the, most of those ads are going to Shopify pages, so don't get discouraged if you know, you're like, oh, well, all I have is a Shopify page. That's okay. Um, you know, pick out the, the best images that you can find of your product, multiple images of your product. Make sure that you do go into your product and um, rewrite everything that you may have imported from AliExpress. You want to rewrite everything so it makes sense to an English speaker um, and be, be descriptive with your words and um, just really highlight the product. And just as long as you do that before you run your ad, I mean, as you can see, there are plenty of people out there running ads directly to Shopify products and they're making tons of money. So you can do that too. Yeah. You know, I did a um, uh, email out today and I think the subject line was, there's just no hope. <laughs> and you know, sometimes you feel that way when you're when you're trying and trying and trying it. And what the really upsetting thing is is that you know people are making money and you can't. And it's like, God darn, I know I'm not start stupid. So you know, these little tricks here are the things you need. And I want to say Happy New Year to everybody. I get a couple people typing that in there. Get well soon. Oh man, I want to. I've had this since New Year's basically, and it's just gotten progressively worse. I got bronchitis now. It's it's fun. So. I've been up since 3.30 this morning, but at least I got a chance to work on this for you guys. Um, and we're going to do more and more of these. And, you know, guys, don't stop sending us suggestions because if you're having problems in an area where something's not working for you, you know, shoot it over to support at Digital Cash Academy or, you know, private message me. I don't mind. You know, you could directly message me. Somebody said the other day they were surprised I talked to them. I said, why wouldn't I talk to you? <laughs> you know, it's crazy. So, you know, send me a message. It's no big deal. Uh, watch out for the flu. It's bad. Oh my God. It's really bad here. Uh, they just had a one-year-old baby die in San Diego from the flu. I did not get my flu shot this year. I normally do, but I think I'll be fine. So, you know, anyhow, if there's subjects that you, um, want me to do, I'll do it. Okay. I'll do it. So, you know, just, just put that in there. And the whole idea is to give you guys great content and make you successful. And I want to tell your story. So I'm going to end it with that. And uh, thanks so much, guys. And this year, we're going to just bombard you with great information and great examples so you can see it actually works. You guys have a great day, and thanks for showing up. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.